What's up guys? Welcome back to my $10 to 10k grind challenge. This is again a special episode, a summary episode, meaning we will dive into some spots where we kind of just focus on what's really going on and what's really the interesting spots on a bubble or maybe some crazy ICM spots or some fun spots. And that's it. Um, I will also show the beginning of the session, the, our position regarding our bankroll, um, leaderboard, and at the end, of course, how we fare, how we did this um, session, and yeah, just show you the graph and the end result. Um, I will link to the full episode, also note, um, it's the second one where I forgot to, well, where I messed up the audio, so um, there's no audio in the full one, but I will always upload the full one again, and the next episode they will have working audio again, I will make sure for it. Um, yeah, without further ado, I would say we jump right into it. So as you can see, um, last session was great. Um, we had a few really bad sessions, but we're able to grind it up again slightly with a nine euro win, which is fantastic. Leaderboard position at the beginning is 18, also good. Um, we are not too focused on the leaderboard, but it's still nice. So let's just see if we can find some interesting spots here. I will try to find ICM spots. Um, yeah, that's okay. Um, let's see, we have two 10x going, which is always good, yeah. So this is very interesting, I think. I will just zoom in. Uh, well, actually, we, we have a look at both. So 9.6, uh, I think it's a pilot's call. It's not great. He's He's showing strength. I think a fold is not terrible, but the problem is next hand. We uh, only have 1.4 big blinds left to shove and he only has to call 0 0.9 additional to his big blind that he already put in to call us. So we have almost zero fold equity and maybe we even have a worse hand. Maybe we also flip, flipping now and we're getting the right odds to flip. So I think this is just a call. So let's see first this one. Yeah, we call, which is correct. <laughs> and we zoom out again and directly look at this one because this is more interesting, I think. More complex, maybe. Um, so we have the bubble. We both are the short stacks, but I'm a little bit shorter because he is 1.5, 1. yeah, five big blinds more. He already put one in because he's the big blind. And so the question is, should he fold and hope to, for one of the three other guys to bust so we make it ID man? in the money or should he shove and I think it's clearly a shove yeah sure it's 100% a plus EV dollar shove but I also think it's a plus EV euro or well no it's definitely a plus EV chip shove chip EV shove but also dollar wise because he can call us with worth actually I think some of these players are capable to call suited Broadway here because they're getting a great price and they even survive if they lose. So folding a better hand is just a massive mistake here. And we have a ton of fold equity. He is not inclined to call here at all. Like his position is very stable. One of us has a high chance of busting before him with his um, blind lead. Sure, of course he will get in his sevens plus very likely and stronger aces and maybe if he's crazy also king check king queen stuff but then again he has to follow a lot and then he only he is left and he really should think if he wants to risk almost his tournament life here so yeah just a just a shove not a happy one because it's not a fantastic hand but still good yeah here we're just running bad it's normal and we get a fault here which is nice um oh i i, I mean here we ran into a6 or nine six um, also interesting here, also bubble play, 9-4, um, just an easy fold. Um, we hope that one of them bust, bust each other, kind of. Uh, let's see. 9-5, we will have to fold against any. We wouldn't even shove if he limps, uh, it's just not worth it. Um, down here, I think we can zoom in. and. It's a close one, but not so close. A suited queen, it's just a jam, I think. 
Um, definitely bottom of our range. Um, but so the queen just in equity is slightly ahead of his average hands and we will get worse to fold. I think he might even fold queen 10 here, queen check off maybe, um, probably calling queen 10 suited and queen check suited. But yeah, the thing is we're getting worse, a better hands to fold, which makes part of our equity. And against the calling range, we still have a good equity and it's not like it's crazy ICM just getting one dollar more here. We want to earn chips, we want to take the spots we can and so on. But it's close, it's not like, wow, we are definitely sh shoving here. And up here again, not much to say. Of course, our baby stack wants to shove ace5, even though in the bubble, small blind versus big blind with yeah, less than five big blinds left. Okay, let's see what's happening. He folds, which is good. Of course, we still want the fold, but this is more interesting, I think. 10-7 um, suited can go either way. Um, actually, I might, mm, I'm thinking this might be an all-in dollar EV wise, not only chip EV wise, but it's very close and I think it's better to fold because now he's also getting short and um, I think just waiting, hoping for someone to bust is more value than taking the super tiny edge we might have, especially if we are kind of afraid that he might call some hands the dominators like check 10 here. If he does call check 10 suited, it's probably making this a minus EV fold um, shove. So yeah, I, I want to fold this. I hope I'm folding, but it's close. I'm folding, good. King is just folding. Huh. King three, that's interesting. And now it's a clear fold. But if he would chef, we would think about it and probably still fold. <laughs> um, well, the bubble play, you can't do much if you have a really bad hand. You're just hoping that he raises, he calls, and they will be all in. He just don't jams. We're happy to see him call here. And that's a really, it's not the worst jam actually which I think it's not intended but his jam after calling his his um, strange 3x race on the button is not too bad um, there are several reasons he's blocking king queen and king 10 well king 10 yeah kind of blocking it a little bit he has some backdoor equity regarding straights and flushes and he will make it very hard for him to call with a 10 here. Check 10, ace 10, I think um, it's probably still a call, but it's it's not easy, I think. So actually the stonk shove isn't too bad, but I think, of course, against the 3x, king 8 suited as, as pretty as may look. It's just a fold with his stack because he can wait for better spots, that's it. And it's on the bubble. You don't want to risk your tournament life or be in that horrible position where you decide to jam here and totally not unsure what you're up to. And he ends up against one of the worst hands he can be, like totally dominating him with top pair and same kicker and back to flush draw, back to straight draw that he doesn't really have. Well, he has the same, but yeah, okay. And we are super happy because we are ITM because he made a big mistake. That's why generally speaking on the bubble, if you're with some random players, that are not pros like him and probably him, um, you should opt for the more secure play. And it worked out well for us. Um, well, we can look at the king hands, but it doesn't really matter. Let's look at it because it's pretty. Um, we hope for a shove and he folds. Okay, <laughs> let's skip ahead. Um, heads up here, it's very interesting, I guess. Um, Okay, well, another interesting spot down here. It's just a fold. Um, I think King 10 suited up would be, you could consider a call. I'm not even sure if King 10 suited would be a call, but probably, maybe. But this, yeah, quite likely. But this is just a fold. And we're happy to see him all in and hoping that he busts here. It's a good flop for us. 
yeah, very happy with the result again. I also just note we had three 10x running. Like this session, we really had some great multipliers. Um, I think it didn't turn out too great, but still our multipliers were good, but um, I don't really remember the results. So they were, yeah, let's see. Ace is here in the bubble, let's see what happens. Not bubble, it's just, well, not much happens. Um, all in king seven, I think it's kind of bottom of our range with this big blinds. Uh, that's an interesting fold. That's interesting, so you see this fold here. Did I fold? Yeah. So I folded my a6 on the bubble. Well, a6 is here. Actually, I, I would like to see a min raise here next time. Um, why? Yeah, he might fill up, he might fill up, sure, some, some flops destroy us. But giving a, a shelf against a limp, we are getting too many folds and we really want the double up to give us a great chance for one of the top prices here. Um, yeah, it's okay against good players to put in your aces in the jam, like all in range, because you're probably also doing the same with 3-3 three, three or, I don't know, king-10 suited or maybe even king-10 off to keep it balanced, but in this case you don't need to be balanced. So this is very close. I'm not actually sure this should actually be a fold. We can raise fold or jam. It's very close. Um, I think I was probably thinking, yeah, these players are not the best and we don't want to risk our whole life with this and we also don't know want to waste 2.6 big blinds because with this big stack they, these players tend to call way too much. But then again, it's an ace on the button and we don't have crazy much play like room to do moves here. So it's close. I don't hate the fold, but I don't think it's maybe not the best play. Fold, 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 fold. And let's see what happened here. Just for the fun. Okay, we ran into checks and finished third place. Yeah, I think we had a lot of third and second place finishes. So that makes a big difference. It's not bad to be ITM. Of course it's great, but you need to finish first a lot to have a great profitable session. Mm -hmm. Folding here. Sure, let's zoom in again. Queen 10. So that's interesting. Uh, in this spot, I prefer the shelf slightly more if it would, would fall to us. If it would fall to us, because we now have less chips. We are the person with the least chips. Queen 10 still performs good against ace x that calls us, unless it's ace 10 or ace queen. Um, and we need to kind of make something happen. And we also have some fold equity, so. Yeah, but he raises, so we definitely a fold. We want to look at one or two more spots and then that's it. Mm -hmm. That looks so value like ace x every time. Ha! <laughs> that's crazy. That's lucky him. But I would never call eights here, I guess. I mean, it's disguised, but still, I wouldn't call it. Now we are really in a desperate situation here with our 5.3 big blinds. And we have to fold again. And fold again. And fold again. Yeah, that's why you also need to take the other spots. Um, you're not guaranteed to get hands at all. <laughs> fold again. At this point, we're just praying someone bust off from them, like someone making a big mistake. He's probably folding here. Yeah. A6, that's, that's the hand we have to go with, I guess. Yeah. If he still finds a fold, it would be amazing because it's just free chips for us. But he